Hi guys, how you doing today? This is Janique Lynn, your nurse agent with EXP Realty, bringing you your Memphis market report for the month of April. I'm excited to bring you this information and findings for this month. Uh, so if you're interested in knowing what's going on in our Memphis market, then stay tuned. Hi everyone. So I know we've been seeing how this housing market is has been going here and seeing such low inventory and homes are continuing to sell rather fast um, with few days on market. Um, so it's a very good uh, housing market right now. The market is still very hot and um, <laughs> like our weather right now that keeps changing. Um, but yes, so. Our market is still doing pretty well and I want to bring you the facts so that you can know exactly what the numbers are showing and telling us. So let's get into it. All right, first I wanna just quickly give a background of how March was and that's just looking at the total sales and the active listings that was in March. First of all, I'd also like to say too that when I look at this data that's coming from the Memphis Area Association of Realtors from MAR, um, this information, and it looks at the time period from the middle of the previous month to the middle of the current month. So let me say that right. Okay, so we're looking at the month of April. So this data goes back from mid-March to mid-April. So it's covering from around March 14, 15 to now April 15th. Um, so then when we look at in May, when I do a report, it will cover from that April time and the 16th all the way to May of 15th. So it's a little bit back, but it is showing you the data effects as they come in and that's how the report usually goes. So looking at that, keeping that in mind, for March, we had 1,774 homes that were sold in the month of March. And then um, active listings during that time was 1,840 um, active listings of single family homes for a total of 1,990 listings at that time. Okay, um, and those included anything from single family homes, duplexes, co uh, condos, and co-ops, okay? So now let's look at April. So members, um, sing single family units and the total home sales was 1774 in March. Now we look at our April, da -da -da -da, <laughs> our April um, units that have been sold is 1,840 for the month of April. So there was a difference of 66 units that was more that was sold in April versus March. So April is showing us 1,840 units that have been sold. And when we look at the comparison from last year of April 2020, April 2020 showed us that there was 1,462 homes that were sold in April of 2020 versus our current 1,840 of April of 21, which is a different, of, different percentage of 25.9% change. So we have more homes that are being sold now than were sold this time last year. And we know even with all that was going on last year, homes were still selling and we're seeing an even more increase now from that time, okay? And then if we look at our active listings for the month of April, um, there are currently, when we break it all down, a total of, we'll just go with the total, the total active listings for the month of April is 2,048 active listings, right, um, with this data with, at the time period, 2,048 listings on the market. And the breakdown is there's 1,903 single family homes, 92 condos, and 53 duplexes for that total of 2,048 units um, for active listings, okay? And that price range is um, for single family homes is $321,392 for the average list price of single family homes that are on the market. Pending sales, there are a total of 
1557 for the month of April. Um, 1557 pending sales for the month of April. Okay, so our inventory is basically increasing and that's what the data is showing us the market from march of 21 1990 um was it listings to now 2048 listings so that is a difference of uh, total listings of 58 so there are more homes coming on the market is what is showing us um, as we know, spring, there usually is a more increased time where people are putting their home on the market. This year has been unlike no other, <laughs> but, um, sometimes in the winter time, you see that where it kind of, you don't see as many homes on the market. I mean, all through this time, we have been seeing homes, uh, our inventory has been low, but we've been seeing homes sell. Like well, if you put a house out there, it's, it's basically a guaranteed sale because there's so few homes on the market and the act the market has been strong from the winter even up until now but of course now we're seeing a few more homes coming on the market um this is um important to note if you're thinking about selling as well uh it's good news for buyers and it's um something that sellers also need to keep in mind because as more homes begin to come on the market you also want to know that uh you, you you may not be stand out as much now we're we're so low that you really don't have to worry about that right now but we just wanted um to get the information out that homes there are becoming slowly more homes on the market i don't know if you caught my national market report but you can see on the graph that i showed in that video that tennessee as a whole was down 60 i believe it was like 64 percent uh, deficit one of the largest deficits in the United States in the state of Tennessee as far as inventory our market is you know very hot because there is such low inventory when homes are put on the market they sell okay so we are seeing though a slight influx in homes coming on the market in the more inventory okay so Let's look at this a little bit more closely um, and look at the year to date sales uh, for this time. So total home sales year to date, um, this will go through those first four months uh, from January through April. Um, so for those first four months for 2021, total home sales have been 6,361 and total home sales for 2020 have been 5,680. So you can see the difference and in increase in home sales from year to year. And that's a 12% difference. Okay. Um, also always like to look at our new homes and new construction because we know that uh new construction has had its challenges as far as um new construction type costs and so forth, and we haven't seen a as many new construction that we need to to keep up with our population growth um but they are starting to come we are starting to see more permits and different things so, all right guys so what are um total home sales for the month of april that was 1840 and when we break that down between existing homes and new home sales the existing homes that were sold was 1,753 and the new home sales were 87. So the total would then add up to 1,840 total home sales. Okay, so let's look at our different areas around Memphis with um, new construction. So I want to look at East Memphis. I have had a couple people um, asking about homes in East Memphis. So one area to look at is when new construction. Um, but when I look at back at March for new construction, we did have two new homes that came on the market or, or that sold rather in East Memphis. Um, this month, we did not have any new homes to sell in uh, April. That's not mean that they're not being built, but there was no sales in the month of April. Um, in East Memphis okay so let's look at our other areas as far as new home sales and we'll go back to some other things in just a minute 
So let's look at our other areas for new home sales. Looking back um, and comparing how it's, how it's going from March to April. Okay, so I do focus on different areas, including some of these areas, which is Cordova. Um, Cordova, new home sales for the month of April, there were 10. Um, with the price range, I always like to look at the median price range, and the median price range was $354,490 for those new homes in Cordova. $354,490. Okay, and there was 10 new home sales. Versus last month, in the month of March, we saw five new home sales for Cordova. Okay, and then we'll look at Bartlett. Bartlett um, had one new home sale for this uh, month of April. And um, that price range, they didn't give a median, but the average price range was $333,900. Um, and then looking back at uh, March, there was also one uh, new home sale in March. And now there's one new home sale in April for Bartlett. When we look at Germantown, Germantown did not have any new home sales for the month of March, but in April they did have one and it's showing the average sale price of $905,000 for the new home sale. Um, also looking at Carterville, Carterville for the month of March, there were 14 new home sales and for the month of April, there are 18 new home sales. Now I like to say for Carterville, um, I have visited um, the Regency Home Builders um, out in Carterville, which is a very nice um, area they have out there with their new homes, um, as well as I have visited their one in Cordova as well. So if you're interested in Regency, Regency has been building some homes um, out, uh, what is it, off the Woodland Hills area, the second uh, uh area that they're doing and Woodland Hills off Macon and um what is it more let me think Macon and Houston Levy and uh also you can see my video about that I did a video a couple months ago for new homes and uh being built by Regency and they also have of course homes in Carville in different areas so Regency has been building homes out there uh so they have I'm not just this is not just Regency for Carville but this is showing that Carterville itself um, had a total of 18 new home sales. And those home sales have a median sale price of $565,000. Okay, versus last uh, month in March, there was 14 new home sales. Price range then was $550,000 median. And now we're seeing about $565,000 median price okay lakeland let's look at lakeland lakeland had five new home sales for the month of april versus last month there were two new home sales uh for the month of april the median sale price was about four hundred and ninety five thousand. um looking at arlington arlington last month had 17 new home sales um also this month they have 16 homes Sales. I also visited before the um, in Arlington. Just give a shout out to these builders that I have visited. Um, but uh, in Arlington, I have visited um, also Grant Home Builders. And um, speaking with Miss Rebecca Kuntzman, I know I'm not going to get that name right, but um, shout out to her and allowing me to do a video there. So I also have a video about Grant Homes that you can check out as well with, for their new homes out of. Uh, I think the one that I did was out, oh, like White Oaks. I'm not sure. Like, but check check that video out so that you can see their new homes by Grant Homes. Okay, but that's out in Arlington. Also, Millington. I don't know if I said the median price range for Arlington in the month of April was $435,967. Um, Millington. Oh, we're going to go through Millington. I'm not going to go through Millington, but... um. Let's just look in overall in Shelby County. There were 55 total new home sales for Shelby County um, versus 53 last month for the total for Shelby County. Okay, so let's um, look at a couple more data that I want to go over. Let's look back at, um, let's see. 
the existing home sales is what I wanted to go over. Okay, so existing home sales. And um, also, like I said, someone had asked me about East Memphis, so I'm going to look at that. East Memphis, um, April for existing home sales. There were 306 existing home sales in East Memphis with a median sales price of $180,000. Um, and also, they had, that was a difference from last year around this time that's showing that it's up 26.4%. So, and last month for East Memphis, there were, let's see, there were 312, no, I'm, I'm sorry, for East Memphis last month, there was 310 existing home sales versus the current 306 home sales, existing home sales for East Memphis. Um, that median price range, 180000 and an average price range of 242858 Okay. And um, it's showing on here that the median sales price for April of this year is actually down 11.1% versus April of last year for existing home sales. Last year, existing home sales in East Memphis was $202,500 versus this year the median sale price is 180,000 and we also are seeing more homes being sold in those areas. Okay. So, now I'm going to look through Cordova and uh Cordova existing home sales for the month of April. Okay. For the month of April, we have 190 existing home sales with a median price range of $226,500. And for Bartlett, we have 103 existing home sales for $250,000 being the median price range. Germantown, 77 uh, existing home sales with um, the median price range being $375,000. Carville, 109 existing home sales with median price range of $400,000. Lakeland, 24 existing home sales with the median price range of $320,000. Arlington, with existing home sales of $30,000 um, with the price median price range of $315,000. Okay. In Shelby County, overall, there were 1,608 uh, existing home sales for April. Um, with the median price range of 165,000, average price range sale price was 211,542 dollars. Okay, all right. So those are the different areas, and then also I wanted to look at um, let's see where my other papers are, and I want to show you this graph also. And the graph is showing. Let me pull it up here. This graph is showing the absorption rate. Um, and what absorption rate is, is how many months of inventory, basically, um, do we have on the market before it all becomes absorbed. Okay, guys, so we want to talk about that absorption rate because that's very important when you're looking at any market market statistics or any market data. You want to look at your absorption rate because it's going to tell you how much inventory you have on the market and how long it will last or if at the current rate of the market so let me better explain that by showing you this graph so if you look at this graph of our Memphis market it's going to show you the absorption rate um, of where it has been from January up until this point in May um, and what absorption rate basically does it says that basically if um, by looking at this graph if the market conditions does not change or if no new listing comes on the market, it would take two months for current inventory to sell at the current rate of the market. And you can see that in April. So um, in January, back in January, it was showing about three months, but now in April of this year, 2021, um, we it would take us about two months for the current inventory to um, sell at the current rate of the market. And um, that's important to look at and also just figuring out like how our market is truly doing and um, 
our, the inventory that we're seeing and how long it will take for us to sell out, basically. And remember that these statistics are gathered at specific times during um, at a, any given time. And if you watch the national uh, video again, you know that um, just like filling up that bucket or trying to fill the bucket, there's a hole at the bottom. Things are constantly moving out and moving through the bucket. So you think about that and it's at any given time. But right now, we stand at about two months absorption rate for Memphis. Um, and with that being said, I also want to look at, um, just real quick before I wrap up this video, about our, um, also look want to look at, also important, very look at uh, list to sales price when you're talking about market information. Because, um, as you know, prices have been appreciating in our housing market, which is wonderful for sellers, right? Um, so let's look at it. I'm going to show you one more graph for our Memphis um, market, which on this graph you will see <clears throat> things like the average days on market and the list to sale price. And this is um, by way of our Memphis um, Area Association of Realtors. Um, so just looking at our market statistics. Okay, so if you look here on this graph, you will see that I've only looked in this graph um, dealing with residential properties. So if you look, you can see that our three bedroom residential properties um, being um, this data, let me slow down, data goes from April 1st through, I took it all the way through the current date of May 13th. Um, so you will see that three bedrooms, there's a total listed of 1,113 um, residential properties with three bedrooms that are currently listed. There have been 793 sold, um, giving us a 71.25% sold. But when we look at this average list price sold, um, on average, the homes with the three bedrooms are listed at about $197,039. But when you look at the average sale price of those three bedrooms, it's $201,013 would give us our sale price, list price ratio, as it's stated here, um, of 102%, over 102.02% for our sale price, list price ratio, meaning that those homes are selling for more than the asking price. So if it's listed at, for example, 197, which is, um, this is saying the average, but if it's listed, let's just do 200,000, then a lot of these are selling for above that, maybe 205 or more, or just more. really they're selling for a lot more <laughs> than that, some of them. But these homes are selling for more than the asking price is basically what I'm saying. So when you also keep it in line with that three bedroom line there, you can see that the average days on market sold was 31. And the average list price unsold, those homes did not sell. 197, 215 dollars uh, and percent expired 3.59%. When they're talking about expired, those are expired homes where the um whatever the agreement was between the agent and the seller, um, that time span has now expired and they are no longer on the market. The home did not sell. So um and with the three bedroom homes, you see a 3.59% of homes being expired. Um, we also can look at uh, the, the second largest um, type home sold, which is like the four bedrooms homes. Um, you can see there's a total listed there, 638 number sold, 430% sold, 67.40%. Average list price sold, $346,742. Average sale price, $348,180 with a sale price list price ratio of 100.41%. So basically what they're asking for, for those homes, they're selling at their asking price. Um, and you can see, um, even if you wanted to look at those five bedroom plus homes, you can also see if you just look over toward uh, the average list price sold of the five bedrooms is $547,424. Average sale price, $547,578 with a sale price, list price ratio, 100.03%. Again, same thing there. What they're asking for, they're basically getting it in some cases more than an asking price. 
And even with the lowest sale price list price ratio on the graph here, um, being the zero to two bedroom homes, you see a 98.55% uh, sale price list price ratio, which is still pretty good. Um, and then you can see the average days on market for the three bedrooms was 31 days, uh, four bedrooms, 32 days. I can tell you that homes are selling fast <laughs> and that is an average and that um, usually a lot of homes are selling within a week. Um, but the national data does tell us that um, the there have been about 18 days on market as the average and that offers coming in, every home going on the market is having at least four to five offers on that particular home um, is what the average is showing us. And many homes, um, buyers are still out here looking for homes. We know that the data is showing us that interest rates are still low, although they are start have been rising, but they are still low historically. And um, you know, looking at your own personal interest rate, you can always try to check that out on bankrate.com. But also, um, yeah, those interest rates are driving buyers to the market as well as um you know, different things that they may um, want in a home or even millennials are starting, you know, are a big factor in our housing market looking for homes. And um, even some millennials are looking for investment type properties. Um, but our market is still going very strong, you guys. And uh, just want you to know that information is sellers, that absorption, word, absorption rate, the list to sell price ratio, our days on market is all very much in favor of sellers um we also you know just want to keep up with what's going on in our market and uh we are seeing starting to see a slight rise um in the amount of inventory that we have on market and that is good news for buyers as well okay so that is basically our memphis market report for the month of april i hope that you have found something valuable in this video Sometimes I know it gets lengthy, but I'm trying to bring you the best information for our market statistics and kind of going through that information for you. Um, if you're not familiar with Memphis, come on to Memphis. If you're looking to move to Memphis, this is data for our market. Um, big companies here like FedEx. Um, I'm a nurse also, so uh, we do have a quite some nice hospitals nursing-wise where you can come and work and, uh, you know, just... A great place to come lifestyle and different things uh people enjoy here um and the memphis spirit <laughs> so you guys are welcome to come if you want more information about our memphis housing market um please continue to watch my videos um memphis housing market reports that i um, try to bring these updates once a month as well as a national housing market report once a month to keep you informed and in what's going on in today's housing market so you guys have a great day our memphis weather is great we have been seeing a little change in flexibility in the 50s 60s um all the way to 70s and so forth so we're getting the whole little rave right about now but it's great here in memphis the weather is still nice um loving it and uh believe you will too so have a great rest of your day, everybody. This is Janique Glenn, your nurse agent with EXP Realty. Have a great one.